Four minutes or less recipes, Alex and Felix. I'm Felix. Alex right here. Back uh, back on the video circuit, eh? Yep. After the holidays there. Yeah, it's going to be a fun, it's good. fun year. Yeah. Some big things down the... Uh, in the pipeline. Yeah, we have a new series we're going to start for cooking next week, so make sure you come check that out, because it's good. Oh, yeah. We just finished the first episode for that cooking series. But today we're going to make Oreo eclairs, and these were really good. They're very light, very tasty, not too sweet. Okay. Yeah, yeah you weren't here for these <laughs> yeah, ones. I, I, I can't vouch for that, I just but brought I'm you sure in for were. the voiceover. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. there you saw us flift, flift. <laughs> sift <laughs> off to a good start in the new year all right sift flour and cocoa powder together uh whisk that up a little bit make sure it's all mixed here we're gonna take water bugger bugger oh my god not uh not going well power on through it just I keep going this. on just i can going. do this yeah water butter yeah some sugar some salt we're gonna heat that till it just starts to bubble then we're gonna drop the dry ingredients in here yeah. all at once no, no tripod no tripod this is yeah Mix it till it's all incorporated here. Yeah. And then we're going to put this back on the heat. And then we're going to keep stirring it for four, five, six minutes, somewhere around there. On high heat? A medium heat. Medium. And you're going to get this sort of crusty thing form on the yeah. bottom. That's perfectly normal. You actually, okay. you should expect that to happen. Okay. Doesn't look the, uh, the most appetizing, it, uh, does it? It looks no. uh, really... It looks like something we won't say on the... Yeah. The video. <laughs> something very familiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we're only doing a partial batch today because we didn't want to make that many. So follow the ingredients down below. So we're only going to do two eggs, but you're basically going to whisk the eggs in one at a time, mm -hmm. and it's not going to look like it's incorporating, but it'll all come together eventually. You can see when we do it here, it's just yeah. it's going to look like a mess. Like that okay. just looks terrible. Like it's not working. It will come together. I promise you. Just keep stirring. Yeah, it. this is one of those things that you make that you just have to have faith that it's going to turn exactly. out. Exactly. You know, just following the instructions on the website. Yeah, it's all down below yeah, in the description. Yeah. Again, doesn't look the best it's... right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pipe them out. Uh, yeah. Um. Yep. Get them. Uh, get them on the sheet. Bake them. Here uh, we got this. We got okay. this. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. So here we're gonna do the the cream filling, the whipped cream, heavy cream. You're gonna beat that until soft peaks, and you're gonna put in the powdered sugar. We have a little bit in there. It's basically one heaping tablespoon, not a okay. lot. Then we're going to put some vanilla in, whisk that up till we get the stiff peaks like you saw. Then we're going to take all of our crushed up Oreo shells, we're going to dump that in, and then we're going to fold them in. You don't want to yeah. whisk them in or anything like that because you'll break down the cream. Okay. You just want to use a, a folding motion. So here the eclairs are done, and they should be hollow inside. You can see me tapping on them because I don't know why. It's, yeah. I don't, you guys can't hear it. But <laughs> so show how uh, sound it is. It should sound hollow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do some glaze now. So the Oreo topping is something to stick to. So this is just some water and powdered sugar. Directions okay. down below. So there's two ways to fill these now. You can poke three holes in the bottom, put your piping bag in and fill them. I don't like this one as much. I think it's better to split them open, make sure you get the one big cavity, and then you can fill them up and you can get a lot more oh, in there. Okay, okay. That's my preference. Okay. I'm so, sure you're probably... I mean, do whatever yeah. you like, make your own decisions. Yeah. So once it's in, we're going to dip that in the glaze, get a bunch of glaze on there, and then we're going to sprinkle Oreo pieces all on top, and you're done. I mean, ah, it looks good. Yeah. They were, yeah. These were... These were one of my favorites. Yeah, you could have saved me one, but whatever. Yeah. Not a big deal. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week.